Ah, hello there, it's a lovely Saturday morning and I'm here in Sturchley because last week I bought a guitar on eBay and I bought it from this shop just over the road here which is closing down and he's selling a lot of stock off at cost so um, we're going in in a minute and we'll see what we come out with so, see you on the other side here we go Let's, uh, hope I don't come out with too much um, I got these two guitars uh, from a guy who was retiring from a music shop and basically he was selling off all his stock. Uh, I got this one first of all off um, eBay and while I was there, because of the price, I couldn't resist this fella here. Um, after getting them back, I've had a quick go with both of them and I'd just like to sort of like go through a few things that I found um, wrong with <laughs> well, when you come to buying a cheap guitar. I paid less than cost probably for both of these guitars. Um, one of the things I would like to say with buying uh, a cheap guitar or your first guitar is um, looking at the quality of the neck. Now looking at these, these are made by Stag and if I just um, get the camera to come in to show the neck, it's quite, actually, it's quite a nice uh, neck on it. Um, it's got truss rod um, and it feels quite nice because it's a satin finish on the neck. The only thing is that the rosewood is a bit cheap and um, what I'll need to do is some treatment on it to make it a bit easy for the fingers to glide over the um, fretboard. The other thing is with buying a cheap guitar is the strings on them, they're not up to much. Um, so another thing I'll be doing is um, changing the strings. What I noticed when I first tried this guitar was it sounded okay, but on closer examination I found that the E string was actually, the intonation was completely out, which means no matter how much you tune the guitar, it's still not going to sound in tune. And I don't know whether that is because it's got cheap strings on it or the fact that I need to do some adjusting down here or the setup isn't right. Um, other than that, uh, this one actually is called, with Telecasters, there's two types. This one there is a uh, through body um, for the um, strings or there's what they call a top loader. This is a top loader which uh, all old Telecasters, I'm led to believe, um, were set up this way. I, some people think that the strings are better going through the bodies, other people um, believe that um, there's nothing in it, I don't know, because I don't really know a lot about Telecasters. Anyway, what I intend to do with both these uh, guitars is set them up, restring them, and um, sell them on. 